Welcome to the testing world. Here we are going to start our project. Here we are going to automate Facebook login functionality. So as a first step, we are going to maintain configurable data into the property file. So when we are automating any project, we have a lot of data that is configurable. Like my application URL is configurable. My username and password are configurable. My wait time, how many seconds I should wait on a different weights, which we are going to implement in Selenium. So how many seconds we need to wait that is configurable. So like this, we have many data that is configurable. So whatever the data which we want to make configurable, we can maintain in this property file. And we are going to use data, this data wherever required. So as a step one, first we are going to maintain this data moving to my project and here on src first of all i'm going to create a package with the name org.automation.testingword.utility we are going to create a utility where we are going to read data from this property file so i'm going to create a class with the name utility and in this class i am going to create a method public void fetch property before writing this code i should maintain a property file i'm going to maintain a property file there we will have all the configurable data so on a project right click and i'm creating a folder with the name config here in this config folder i'm going to create a file we can give any name i'm just giving config dot properties whatever the data you want to make configurable like i'm making a data browser name configurable means on which browser you want to e execute so whatever browser you want to use in your execution you can mention over here in the same way browser or i'll say application url and that's the www or i'll say the complete url is https facebook.com so as of now i'm taking these two as a configurable data now I'm coming to the utility here to read data from the utility file I'm going to create a utility method and the name of the method is fetch property or we can say fetch property value you can give any name to this method now I am first connecting with that file for, for reading data from input file first i'm going to make connection with that so i'm using file input stream and that's a file i'm just taking the object name is file i'm creating the object of file input stream class new file input stream here we need to pass name and the location of that file so dot forward slash that's my current project inside that project go to the config folder and there we have a file with the name config dot properties. Now it is giving the error for the exception handling means it might be possible that file does not exist. You need to handle that exception. I just click on this and I'm adding, I'm adding throws keyword as of now. So now to read data from property file, we have a, so we have a class with the name proper I'm going to create object of that and object name I'm giving it's a property new properties and first we need to load that file for loading the file we are going to use this object dot load which file we want to load so we already created file input stream object so I'm just passing this object here. 
Now again, it will ask for the exception handling. I'm just doing the exception handling. Now, which data you want to read? So property, that's my object name, dot get, and we need to pass key. Here we have the data in the form of key and value. We just need to pass the key and it will fetch that value. What I can do, whoever is going to call this method, I'll ask him, pass the key and whatever the key which you are passing, it will read the data. Whatever the data it is reading, I'm just returning the value. Here, it is going to return an object. If you see, I'll just check it, dot get method. You will notice it is going to return an object. So whatever the key is, and it is going to return an object. So I mentioned object over here. We are going to call this method on a multiple places. So I'm just doing it static. Static means whenever we are calling this method, we can call it by the class name. Whenever we are going to call this method, we will pass the key. It will return value of it. So everything is done for the utility point of view. Here we have created one method. We just need to call that method and it will return the value. We are going to use this method on a multiple places. We will use this method in our next session where we are going to create base classes. So first utility method is done where we are fetching property value. So here we have seen how we can make config file and read data from that configurable property file. How to use this data, I'll show you in the next session. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video. Hello all, hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please ask in the comment section. And also, please like and subscribe for more software testing courses. Also, we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in $200. Find us on Facebook for more offers and updates. Here is the URL, facebook.com, testing word, India.